So regardless of where you get your plastic or what process was used to form it, when you start looking at machining standards, it's probably not square, flat, parallel, or any of those things. You can see here that it rocks, or at least you can hear it. I want to grab that lightly, and doing so, I am going to put minimal distortion into the part. So I'm going to face this block, and then we're going to look at it, and we're going to see how much that moved. Now we're going to watch and see if this moves. So it moved almost two thousandths of an inch. Take that back to zero. Check the center of the block. More like six thousandths of an inch. We can show that in another way. Use a straight edge. Doesn't go through, doesn't go through, and goes through easily. What we're doing right now is we're squaring up the profile so that we have the edges and the x-axis parallel to each other and the same for the y-axis. So we can now flip it over 180 degrees and grab it in our vise and begin to have less distortion when holding our part. We now have a nice, clean, mostly square block. When we grab the block down lower, I still want to clamp not too hard and we can grab our hammer and tap our part down lightly and we know that we're only going to distort our flatness by the amount we measured with the indicator and at this point we'll take a heavier cut and begin to take our block to size i've got the workpiece choked right up in the vise as deep as it can go and that gives me the best, most secure work holding I can have, especially that I don't want to clamp too hard. And it spreads the forces out more evenly throughout the part, so you're less likely to have a bow induced in the top of your part. I'm going to set our indicator on zero on top of this part. Zero there. within about a thou and a half there. If I push that back down flat, it still goes to zero and tells me I have a bit of rock in my part. And that's from the previous operation when we'd had some bow. Let me see about the same amount of movement there. Go back to our straight edge. This is a one thou feeler. It doesn't go through until closer to the center, so we're a little better. If we needed to be better, we could flip the block and repeat this process. And we could turn 180 degrees this way, we can turn it 90 degrees this way, and we're going to repeat that process and chase better flatness.